Hello, welcome to my shed. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to be carrying on with the build of this arcade machine. Last episode we got the TV in, we got some of the initial boxing out done. Um, and this episode we're going to be carrying on, putting the roof, putting the top on it, putting the front on I suspect, uh, and having a look at the control panel here. Um, let's get on with it, thank you. So we've got these two boards cut for the, the roof. This one, uh, this is right at the front, it's got a uh, slot cut in the front of it, that's to accept the moulding and uh, the back edge, you can just about, ooh, just about see that, it's got a cut on the angle to fit the angle and it slots in something like that and then we've got the roof here, slot again with this angle cut on there and that matches the angle on the front panel so that should all join up nicely so let's get them screwed in we've got the top on we've got the well the underside of the top on and we're all blocked out um, for the front we've blocked out all the way around for the front Got our nice board for the front. Now the front has got interesting because it's got to have a hole in it. It's got to have a hole in it so that we can open the door. Uh, it's got to have the speaker on the front here and the coin slot mechanism. So cutting a hole in this. If I cut this, it's going to close up slightly. Um, so somehow I've got to figure out how to cut a hole in here, how big to make it, cut that hole, pinge it, all that sort of thing. And then um, that'll be the front panel finish and we can screw that on. Um, this is the front piece. We've come in 100 mil from either side, we've come in 200 mil from the bottom. The speaker goes up here, we've probably got enough room there. This is going to be the door here. I changed my mind about some of the distances, so there's lots of lines on it. Um, now if I saw cut this, we're going to get left with a, my saw cutting is not the best, so what we'll have to do is we'll saw cut this into four bits, five bits with including the door, and then reverse these round so we get this nice straight edge cut on the, on the, on the inside, and we get a nice door. Um, so I'm going to do that, come back in a minute. Okay, we've printed out these uh, button layouts. They are printed out to scale. Um, they're now taped onto the top of here in um, what I hope is going to be the right position. It's going to be a bit tight at this end, but um, it's going to be interesting with the acrylic. But then the acrylic's always interesting. Uh, not forgetting the player one, player two start buttons. Um, we're going to have uh, buttons on the sides for pinball type games. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill the centre lines of these, centre points of these, and that will mark those out. And then I'm going to drill them with the drill, uh, the hole drill to make the holes. Um, is a 28 mil drill, no? 29 mil drill. Last time I had to buy this specially size to get the right size for these buttons. So hopefully it's still sharp enough to do a decent job. Uh, here we go.
Right, let's see what we've got here. Let's see if all oh, buttons fit. So these buttons, relatively straightforward. Drop it in. Right, onto the joystick. Okay, the joysticks represent a bit more of a challenge because I think traditionally they're mounted um, they're mounted on the top so that we have that stalk swing through but I'd have to cut quite a big hole in here in order to get them in that's not a problem we can do that and then I have to sink the top down just enough to cover the cover the width of the plate and the bolt holes. So I've undone the four screws that hold the base plate on, or the top plate actually, and I'm just marking out where that's going to sit. I suppose that has to be too aligned. Something like that. And the same with this one. So I now know how much I've got to take out in order to sink these down a bit. So I made this jig, and uh, the idea being that this jig fits over and um, controls where the oops, let me get this right controls where the router goes, so that um, I don't go outside the lines. Now let's give this a shot. First of all, I'm going to clamp this. Fairly neat, not really straight, but good enough. Okay, we've still got the centre line, we know where those are, so we can. The next job will be to cut out all the way through the board, through the middle, so that we can actually recess the joystick directly in. We're going to have to drill holes in here for the bolts, and then we'll see how it goes. So with those two rebates cut and the, the installation of those, the holes cut for the buttons, the control panel's structurally finished, I hope. Um, we may think about putting some reinforcement around here, but I think we've got about 10, 11, 12 mil there of MDF, so it should be enough to reef on. Um, those controls get reefed on quite a lot, but this, what we'll do is we'll actually uh, stick those panels into there as well, as well as bolt them in. They should be very firmly attached. Um, what's going to happen to this? Well, we've got to put the um, another strip of wood on the front here. Uh, that's about 40, 50 mil wide. Those are for the uh, the two more buttons that go on the front. Um, then we've got to paint it all. Um, probably got to route in the slot along the front in order to take the moulding, decorative moulding um, and then that will be finished. So what I'm going to do next is put this ledge on here and again I need to cut this at the angle in order to get the um, ledge to sit properly. That's the control panel we put the front on. Um, it's glued and screwed now so um, that'll be leave that for a bit to dry and that's where I'm going to leave it this episode thank you so much for joining me it's been a real pleasure um, next episode we'll be putting the drawer in and finishing off the woodwork hopefully we will get to the acrylic next time and, um, and that'll be fun because acrylic's horrible um, see you next week thank you so much for watching